Skip here. Time for another uh, little repair work and some tips on the timber. Uh, today, after the last, last crash, we had a... Let me turn these lights off here so you don't have to be blinded. You see, uh, one of the wings got broken in half uh, when the ESC fried on this thing. Um, and it came down not, not too hard, but en enough to crack the wing in half. Real easy repair, guys. It, it took the glue real, real fast. It's nice and square and straight. Um, hobby, hobby Zone was a, a Horizon Hobby, I'm sorry to say. Uh, I'm sorry. H Horizon Hobby uh, was nice enough to send me a new motor and a new ESC uh, to, to take care of that electrical problem that happened in the air. But uh, I still have another couple problems here, and maybe some of you guys still have some issues out there. For one thing, they don't have, uh, they're out of servos. Uh, they're back ordered. So if you have any, any <laughs> servo problems like I've got on the left wing here, um, you know, you either got to order a whole set of servos uh, because there's a right and a left one, I believe, or you've got to, uh, uh, or if that's not the case, I don't know. They're either way, they're, they're out of the servos. Okay, but what I'm going to do or, or show you to do today is a, a little trick that I learned a while back. And um, uh, inside the servo, believe it or not, the part that goes bad usually is just the one tiny little plastic piece. And if if that's if you can turn that around, chances are the thing has a limiting uh, limitation of, t of turn anyway. You turn it completely, uh, do a 180 on it, and the other side of the gears are still fine. So we're going to give that a shot, and I'll show you how I'm doing that, and then we'll see how it works. Wish me luck. This is a first attempt and it's just a theory, but I'm going to try it. Okay, we just got the plane in a comfortable position here and uh, we're going to get at these little flaps here. And you can usually just peel back on this side here. I've got the, uh, I painted over here, so I'm, I don't really want to mess this up. So I'm going to just peel these things back and peel the tape halfway back. Let's put the camera in position here so I can use both hands and you guys get to see uh, everything I'm doing here, okay? Find a little screwdriver, and we'll start by pulling this back. And they come back up, up and off pretty easily, guys. And I'm just going to do one servo at a time. We're not going to do them both. I'm just going to give you an idea. We don't know for sure this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. Now, I've taken the top three screws uh, out. You know, when you get in here, you'll see that there's a carrier that the servo sits and then there's a plastic piece that sits over it with three screws. I took the three screws out already uh, and that's when I had the idea that hey maybe I should share this with the, some of the guys out there. I'm probably not the only one obviously since they're back ordered servos that has been having servo problems. So pull this thing out and you're going to see that it's it's got uh, uh, I believe they're going to find out I'm going to find that they're be regular length lead servos. Uh, this one goes to a certain uh, point back here and then there's another coupler in here that it attaches to so one of them is going to be long one of them is going to be I think standard length or possibly it goes all the way I'm not sure they're, they're on splitters uh, I did see that they're uh, the servos are wired together basically on the same uh, same channel so they're not going uh, two different channels on this particular spectrum uh, AS3X safe type deal so anyway we're going to take this uh, uh, servo apart and you start basically, let me get this out of the way here. And uh, we'll use a little battery here to hold it down so it's out of my way. And uh, I'm going to remove these screws. You just take all four of them out. Now they're long, if I recall, and they go all the way down to the front. Get this one out, all four of them. They usually come out pretty easily. Not the first time I've had a servo part. That's why uh, I kind of know what's in there. And uh, a couple friends of mine uh, told me that if you can't find the kits, you know, you might be able to do something like this. So it's an experiment. I've never tried it. But if it gets my plane back in there until they get servos, that'd be cool. As long as it's reliable, right? Take this one out all the way. 
Tiny little screws here, guys. I'm surprised the screwdriver fits it. Okay, so take these, remove these, don't lose them. Gonna need those for putting back in, okay? And they're long. Now you can take off the top. At this point here, the middle piece is separate from the top and the bottom, okay? Now you can remove the top part or you could remove the back cap. If you take the back cap off, you see what you've got in there, a little circuit board and a little micro motor. But we don't need to get it that side, so we're going to leave that all tucked in there nice and neatly. And we're going to go to this end, and that's the business end. And let's take this out of here, because that's holding it to the little shaft in the, in the one gear in the middle. Okay, so we'll get that off of there, take the arm off. Okay, and now this cap here, uh, I'm trying to work over the camera without shading you guys here. Uh, this cap here will just lift gently off of there. And you'll see what's inside when you look at the, uh, at the inside. It's just a mess of plastic gears. Now, here's another trick, or here another tip for you guys, okay? When you order Metal Gear servos, interestingly enough, when you order Metal Gear servos, the only thing you're going to see is this gear being metal. They still leave these pretty much... Uh, uh, as far as I know, some of them. Uh, the high-tech, high-tech uh, uh, servos are a little pricier, and they do all metal. Uh, but the advertised, like Freewing and, and you know FMS, Metal Gear Servo, well, chances are there's only one Metal Gear in it. And you can still have a problem with here, with this over here. But uh, this is the, usually the gear, guys, that strips. This little tiny one here, okay? And uh, we're going to show you. Basically, I'm going to take off this outer gear. I'm going to set that down because I want to keep it uh, kind of in position from where it, where it came off of, okay? And then uh, here is the gear that there's usually a problem with, all right? And we're going to take that up and off of here, holding the other ones down in place. Now, remember, before you do this, guys, make sure the servo is in a centered position, you know, and stuff that you, you've already got it, the gear, the, that the motor and stuff does work, and then you know, you know you've only got the stripped gear, and then this comes right up and off the top. And I'm going to try and get this close enough, see here, or some kind of angle, I don't know if this, this is, camera's going to pick it up, but there's actually a sheared uh, gear off of that side. One of the, one of the little lips is, is totally gone on that plastic. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around 180 degrees and I'm going to put it back on here and you'll see that the broken side of the gear is now facing directly back okay so that should give me uh, a good rotation this way or that way all right I want to make sure let's see here make sure I got that square and flat so that I don't running out of range on one side or the other before I drop it down on the gear here. Okay, now I've got it nice and square and it's directly facing opposite from what it was. It's meshed up with the gears. Let's put our top gear back on here. And uh, I want to check this guys because this is the one that got stripped also i mean it didn't really get the damage as, as the other one did but you can usually kind of clean it up a little bit right where the, the little strip was so you don't go ahead and just restrip another gear okay and then let's just put this thing back on here you'll notice there's a little limiter on the back of this gear you see that little nub it's a limiter so that it doesn't turn all the way one way or another i think <laughs> sounds good right Anyway, um, let's put this back on here like this. Put it right back where it was. And I know I want this little tab here to be directly behind. So let's make sure we get that lined up in there. Should be pretty close, and then 
line it and drive it, drive it right down on the other gear here without stripping. All right, what am I doing here? Hold on. Okay, I, my mistake, guys. There's a little tiny, uh, a little flat spot on here. Okay, so that does have a, a specific, the specific spot that it goes to on the armature. So I just have to find it, I guess, again. Where's the flat part? The flat part is right about there. Is that right? Can't hardly see the little thing. I should have had the bigger bright on, a uh, bigger br brighter light on in here for this. But I know this goes right back on there like it did. And maybe I'm just not snapping it onto the top of the armature. Maybe it's, maybe it takes a little more pressure, I don't know, but it does have a flat spot there, so it shouldn't go any other way. Okay, this is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I just can't see this goofy thing here. Pause this for a moment. Okay, guys, you just gotta get. Uh, there is that little uh, split, uh, like a half round, and it's shaved at the top, so there's a flat side, and it does have to go on correctly. So it'll only go on one way. But once you get it back together, you should be able to just pop the uh, pop the top back on, throw the screws back in the bottom, and my guess is I'm going to have a working servo. We'll test that out before I put it back in. Of course, I'll just throw a battery in the thing, bind it up, and, and we'll see how it works. And then you guys can take it from there if you want to give this a try or not. Do it at your own risk. Um, you know, check the condition of your servo. You see how badly it, maybe it was stripped. Maybe you can even just kind of take a, a fine, you know, a, like a box cutter tool that has a beveled blade like that and uh, kind of reshape those plastic gears. I've done uh, similar things like that in automotive applications where you couldn't get a part and, and it was just a simple plastic gear that was holding something from from working right and well you just kind of redid it and you, you know and while you had the part on order it would last for a while but uh, airplanes you know, I don't know it's up to you if you want to try this or not I'm gonna give it a shot just cuz uh, I can't get the servos for it and, and I've been having trouble finding the uh, other park zone replacement Parkzone has a couple of servos. I guess the uh, model numbers are out there. It's at like an 80-80-81 and an 80-80 and an 80-81 or an 80-81 and an 80-82, something like that. Uh, but I've been having a little, little trouble finding those. Uh, but I want to try this anyway to see if it works. If it does, great. Uh, I'm thinking about replacing all the, gear, uh, all the servos in this plane anyway. I do like it. Um, with Metal Gear servos, good ones. But not right now. I'm more of a, let's see if I can do it, make it work guy. Fix it. Fix just about anything, right? That's what I like to try and do. Okay, and then we look at the way this is going to have to go back in so I get my arm back on the right way. And that has to go back up at like a... Uh, well, you know what? We're going to send to the servo first. So let's do that here real quick, guys. And I'll power the power the uh, power the plane up here real quick, and uh, we'll test the servo. So hold tight. Okay, we're going to bind this up, guys. Uh, it's important when you bind your uh, when, when you're going to test this. You know, you have to turn this thing up uh, right side up. So we're going to do that before I bind it up. 
and we want to leave our safe off so that the servos don't start moving around on me. It's just temporary. And get this thing to bind up. Okay, we've got juice. Now let's check that servo and see if we've got uh, got things working right. Okay. Let's get a closer look here. All right, guys, I've got the uh, receiver and everything powered up. I had to turn the plane uh, right side up to get it all to, to, to get it to bind. Uh, because of the AS3X. So I did that. Now I've got it inverted. I've got the AS3X off so that I don't be flapping servos and stuff around. But uh, let's take a look and see what we did here now and see if it worked. Uh, I'll put the arm on for it for you guys so you can see. I have a feeling it's going to work here. Let's see. Now this is for my flaps. Receiver 5.1 volts. I think I'm still going to probably need to replace the gear in there, uh, but this might be just fine for the flaps. Uh, but it is working. The uh, parts you can get, I believe, for these things, if you can't get this servo uh, or if you want to repair parts, I believe Power Hobby, uh, Power Hobby, remember those guys, uh, I believe they sell actual, the top end, servo kits, servo replacement kits. So instead of having to replace the whole servo for $15, I think they've got the kit that will uh, uh, for the parts the, the, that'll that'll replace those up there for about three or four dollars. Just a thought, guys. Anyway, as you see, uh, uh, that reversing idea does kind of work, but uh, you know I don't know if I'd trust a, a good a good you know an expensive airplane on it. But uh, just to roll that past you guys. Hey guys, I'm back and uh, got playing back together again. Everything's all back together. I did the other servo as well. Remember now this swing over here is the one that was broken. In fact, let's turn the plane up like this here. That, that'll make things a little easier. I'll hit my throttle kill so we don't hit the gas accidentally. Yep, that works fine. Now remember, I did the, ser I did the flap servo for you guys, uh, but I had, went ahead and did the other servo as well. And let's check out the flaps here real quick. I put a little weight on each flap uh, two to test it and they seem to hold pretty well so that range limiter in there when I flip the gears over or the gear around uh, that range limiter keeps it from going that far to hit that bad gear now check out the uh, ailerons and we've got we've got a flight worthy airplane again guys just a quick tip I hope you guys found this informative maybe useful do this at your own risk, um, but as you see, it, it does kind of work, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace replace them anyway when they become available. Uh, just probably keep plastic geared servos for the flaps, but I want to put uh, metal gear metal geared servos over on the ailerons and probably uh, elevator as well. All right, hope you found this informative. I think I said that, but thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you soon.